What is up guys and welcome to another Red Dead Online video. Today we are going through the essentials that you need as the collector. This is all the unlocks that I think you should be going to look at if you're going to be going through the collector role. Obviously at some point you're going to be wanting to unlock everything but if you are just starting out and you want to go and figure out the best stuff to go and get to make you the most money this is the list that I think you should be looking at. Most of the other stuff that you go and get in these roles that you can go and unlock are more or less aesthetics or something you can change at the camp as well as on your character or even even horse. As always, if you agree or disagree with this list, as well as if you think there is something that should be added into this list that I did not mention, make sure you leave it in the comments down below. The first thing I think you should be looking at is the shovel that you can go and unlock as the collector. It costs $350, but it was 100% worth it because now you can unlock a different type of item that you can go and collect within this world. Up until you can go and unlock the shovel and use the shovel to go and dig to find different collectors you're only able to go and pick up different collectibles that are laying about whether it be tarot cards just laying about on say a staircase or say a fireplace somewhere around that as well as family heirlooms and pieces of jewelry but once you can go and unlock the shovel you can then go and find different dig sites which you can then go and find more family heirlooms as well as different types of jewelry by completing the different sets for family heirlooms as well as different types of jewelry you'll easily be able to go and make the money back that it costs to go and buy this shovel which means this shovel is 100 100% worth it. Being able to go and use this shovel as well means that you can use different types of maps. There are some maps where you have to go off and do a bit of digging and you cannot go and complete those maps unless you have the shovel. It'll vibrate to go and say that you are nearby but if you do not have the shovel you are unfortunately not allowed to go and dig. So by purchasing the shovel I actually unlocks a bit more content, a few more collectibles which in return will be able to go and make you a lot more money. The next thing that I think is essential for all collectors to go and get to make more money to get even more content out of the game is the metal detector and like the shovel it is very expensive it costs twice as much as the shovel $700 but yet again just like the shovel it then unlocks different types of items different types of collectibles that you can go and get which means you're then able to go and complete different types of sets which then means you're able to go and make different amounts of money and with the metal detector by getting that you can now go and collect different coins there are 15 different coins in the world of red dead online to go and collect each one is very very expensive if you go and get a map as well to go and find these coins those are the most expensive maps that you can go and get currently but the coins give out the most amount of money if you go and get all 15 different coins and go and complete the set go back to madame nazar and go and sell that set you're able to go and make 500 dollars which means as you keep on completing these sets and keep on selling them to madame nazar you'll easily go and make that money back for that metal detector that cost you 700 dollars likewise the metal detector also alerts you once you are nearby different types of jewelry which you can still go and dig those up as well as you can also go and dig up certain family heirlooms and the last thing i think is important and essential for you guys to go and get as the collector is the criello horse now i do not know if i am pronouncing that right but this horse is actually very very quick and it has very high stamina you can go and find this under the category of multi but it's actually a work race hybrid which means it is very very quick and like i said it does have a lot of stamina which means you're able to just travel across the world of red dead online at very very high pace without having to stop or even slow down this horse is actually perfect for you to go and be a collector if you are going through these different treasure maps this horse definitely helps you out you're quickly able to go and run from different location to location going to pick up the collectible and then go straight off to the very next location for you to go and complete that treasure map and then open up a completely new treasure map and do that all over again or ride back as quickly as possible to madame lazar to then go and sell all your items the collector role is actually a very weird one for me because because it requires the least amount of items for you to be efficient it only really costs you $1,050 for you to be able to go and get the shovel and the metal detector which are the most important things in my opinion and you're able to go and make that money back in no time the collector by far is the most profitable role within this red dead online frontiers pursuits update anyway with this list if there is anything you agree with anything you disagree with or if there's anything you think should be added to this list make sure you leave it in the comments down below i'd love to hear your guys thoughts every single video so make sure you let me know by dropping a comment but anyway guys i hope you guys did enjoy if you did enjoy don't forget to leave a like and subscribe but for now i'm going so see ya